Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Could I Change? Today, we're going to talk about something really serious. Um, Kevin Porter Jr. Kevin Porter Jr. pleaded not guilty Tuesday to assaulting his girlfriend after he was arrested in Manhattan on Monday. He was released on a $75,000 cash bail. Porter, 23, is charged with felony assault and strangulation according to a criminal complaint. Porter's 26-year-old girlfriend, former WNBA player Kaiser Gonczyk, told police he struck her repeatedly about the face with a closed fist, causing laceration above her right eye and bruising and substantial pain to her face at the Millennium Hilton. Gonczyk said Port Porter applied pressure to her neck by forcibly squeezing it, causing her to experience difficulty breathing, redness, and bruising to her neck and substantial pain, the complaints had said. Prosecutor said Porter did not stop until Gonczyk ran into the hallway covered in blood. And he also said that he had a history of abusing this former WNBA player as well. So what I want to talk about and give my also give some experience on this because I've seen this face to face in front of my face. So and I want to talk about what Stephen A. Smith had to say about this as well. So let me start with this. Kevin Porter Jr. If all this is true, terrible. Uh, listen, I know some people, and I know some people um, may not like the way I talk about this kind of thing, but this is just my honest opinion. I'm against anybody assaulting anybody at any moment in time. I, I, I feel terrible when people assault, especially when they assault somebody they know is weaker than them. Okay, that's terrible. But when people attack people and they hurt them and harm them for something of their own behavior, and based off what the reports are saying is that they got in an argument because he came, for what I saw is he came home late and they got into an argument and then it just went from there. You should never be in this, right? It's so easy for me to get on here and say, well, she shouldn't have been in the relationship. It's toxic a relationship. I don't know anything about this relationship. It said that he has a history of this and maybe she just couldn't find a way out. It's so easy to get stuck in an abusive relationship. Um, if all this is true, right? And so let me go ahead and get my experience on it. Then we're going to talk about what Stephen A. said. Me personally, I have been in an ab abusive relationship with a woman. I never abused her, but she did abuse me, okay? And it was so easy because obviously I'm a man, I'm stronger, all these kind of stuff. I, I can understand the dynamics of staying in a relationship because there are good times. There are times you're having a great time with this person. Sometimes you may be dependent on the person. And so I understand how hard it is to just walk away, to get out of a relationship. And then you get to a point where it gets so bad, it ends up becoming a problem. And so I can understand how she could have stayed in this. It's so easy to get caught up when you're in love with somebody or you think you're in love with somebody and to let the stuff going on because you never think it's going to get this bad. You know, when I was in it, it started with just simple things, name calling. Um, and I'm going to be a little bit vulgar in here, but I just want to give you my guys, my true experience. Um, name calling, being called a bitch, being called a coward, being called an asshole, being told I'm not, I'm not enough being told I'm useless, all this kind of stuff. It starts with those kind of things. First is verbal. And then from there, it started becoming more physical. That means getting slapped, punched, kicked, have my hair pulled, you know. It's all this kind of stuff, and it was constant. A lot of punching. I remember one time I got punched many a times. And so I stayed in this thing, one, because of my pride, you know, because I'm a man. I'm supposed to be able to take this. And two, because you, you think you love this person when the times are going okay or going good. And so you just get stuck in believing that it's going to get much better, right? And another thing uh, I want to talk about is how it can happen on both sides. I understand that there's always this concept that if you're the man in a relationship, if a woman does something to you, there's only two ways out. And I want Stevie A to explain that to us. So let's see this. Tell you when it's justified and how it's justified to put your hands on a woman. If she is hitting you, run. And if you can't run, grab and hold her until she calms down. And then run out with the second you get a chance. That's about as far as you could go. That's about as far as you could go. Okay, so I know that's just a real short clip. You can go watch that over there, but... <clears throat> Now, <clears throat> let me give you another experience I had. So many people think that you can just run. It is so simple as just running or grabbing a woman until you calm down. Number one, when you try to, from somebody who has had to restrain people in his life, you know, I've been a security guard. I've obviously worked with special ed people and I've worked with behavioral people who 
cannot function in society. When you restrain somebody, it tends to make things way worse, right? You only restrain with training and stuff like that. But I've restrained enough people to know that somebody can take up to an hour and a half to calm down. So he's saying calm down as if the person will calm down within a few minutes. Uh, I obviously disagree with that. Another thing, simply running. When I was 11 years old, I was part of a domestic dispute, right? I was sitting in the living room and this person happened to be somebody who's related to me, right? And there was an argument going on. Now, the woman in this relationship was the abusive one, was the abusive one. The man in this relationship was taking it because he's the man. So one day it got out of hand. She went and grabbed the knife. I'm sitting on the couch. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Obviously, I'm 11. She goes to grab the knife. It starts just stabbing, stabbing this man, stabbing him. He tried to leave. Okay, when the knife came out, the whole concept is just run. He tried to get out of the door as if she wasn't going to chase him. She chased him. So by the time he got to the door and grabbed the handle, she started stabbing him. Bad blood everywhere, everywhere. All I'm trying to say is this man almost lost his life because she was just stabbing out of aggression. It's not like she was being meticulous with it. Just stabbing everywhere. All he took one stab Stabbed him right here, right here in the shoulders, and stabbed him all on this side, right? And then stabbed him, like I said, right here. Could have easily stabbed him in the neck, and he'd be gone today, right? The simple thing to say is only justified to ever protect yourself if it's if they hit you or something like that, and all you can do is grab them. You've got to understand this. You've got to understand. And that's why it's bad to be in these relationships, period. And like I said before, I understand how people get in these relationships, and they stay in them. I've done it. And I know women do it too, obviously. Obviously, I know tons of women who've been in this relationship. But, and I've actually seen a woman who had a gun put in her face, pulled the trigger, and it jammed. I mean, it's it's crazy to think about this, the stuff that people will go through. But to say that you can simply just grab a person <laughs> until they calm down, you don't calm people down like that. That's not how it works. If you've ever watched policemen interact with people do they calm down after you grab them do they calm down after you have them on the ground do they calm down when somebody has hit this peak iq goes down people don't think rationally so i disagree with him simply saying grab a woman and wait till she calms down or just run that's what this man tried to do and he ended up getting stabbed seven times this woman who's related to me ended up going to prison for seven years for this incident right my point is, is, this man easily could have lost his life just running instead of defending himself and trying to do whatever he could as if it was a man. I understand. Trust me. I'm not saying take advantage of a woman who's weaker than you. I'm not saying that. All I'm simply saying is that you never know what a person is capable of. He was of the mindset that she would not go this far until the knife was already stabbing him. He could have thought, oh, I can take her. He could not. When a knife comes out, he couldn't take her. He tried. He tried. And anytime he raised his arm, he's getting stabbed relentless. I'm surprised he didn't die. I'm being honest. Right. And I'm just 11 years old seeing all this stuff. Now, back to Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> if all of this is true. Yeah, you need to be in jail. Absolutely disgusting behavior to beat somebody down like this, to cause this to where there's blood all over them. They got a laceration on their head. You're choking him. And it says in one of the reports that she couldn't even feel her arm, her left arm, which means he was choking her so much that she was starting to pass out. Like that's anger problems that obviously you need to deal with. You obviously have trouble going on in your life and you do need to be in jail. You assaulted somebody. You're a terrible person for doing that. It's crazy. Okay. Now, I don't put, it's just hard for me to always put extra emphasis on it being a woman because I've seen all types of attacks, all types of attacks happen to tons of people all the way from adults to kids, from man to man, from woman to woman, from woman to man, from man to woman. I think all assault for some people who don't deserve it is all disgusting to me. So I have the same sentiment other people do when it comes to assaulting anybody. <sighs> I hope this man, if this all comes out to be true, he never plays again. Never plays in the NBA again. 
He does not deserve to be on a team. This, there, there should be consequences. I know some people sometimes think, well, he could be redeemed and he could be this. No, you don't get all the chances in the world. OK, you do something like this. And especially if they have a history and a pattern of this, it can happen again. You know, you hear some people who get in abusive relationships and they tell you that the, it only ends one way. Yeah, you may have got alive this time, but you next time you're gone. Right. So I don't want this man to be out there and be able to keep making the money he's making and all this stuff that all needs to be gone. Whatever contract he had that's gone. Right. He can no longer be a part of the NBA. Obviously, I think in the NBA, if you have a contract and you do something like this, it's, it's done. Right. You get the money you already had, but any other money will not be coming anymore. So I think this man should never play again. I don't think he should be able to come back and redeem himself. No, all that's gone. There's consequences to when you do something this heinous. You know what I mean? Not only did he strike her, he cho dang near choked her to death. And she escaped with blood all over herself because he hit her and lacerated her. She could have easily lost her life. No, any person who would do this to anyone should not be in the NBA, especially somebody doing this with domestic violence. And keep in mind, Kevin Porter is a basketball player. An NBA basketball player. These guys are genetically gifted. These guys are extremely strong. These guys are different from normal human beings. These guys are six foot six. These are huge people. And so him doing this to a person much smaller than him, a woman much smaller than him, is just wild. You know he cannot control himself. And they said there was incidents with him and another man not too long ago as well. So this person no longer needs to play in the NBA. He needs to be gone. And I also want to say this. If you're in a abusive relationship on either side, please get out. If you're a man in this relationship and you think the whole, well, if she goes crazy, I'll just grab her. That will get your life taken away. I've heard too many stories of this. And I personally saw a story that didn't end in death, but ended up in assault with a knife. You need to get away from an abusive woman. And if you're, an abu if you're a woman in a relationship with an abusive man, and it's extremely hard to get out of these things. Please seek help. Please seek help. Please seek help and get away. There's no way that it ends well. It's never going to end well. The vast majority of the times, in fact, I don't hear any stories where it ends well. You will normally end up in the grave or seriously injured. Please get out. Please get out. That's all I have to say. Let me know what you think. I'm gone.